not feel crappy about the situation. Um, and that's when I realized, hang on a second, everything here is conditional. Uh, everything that I do, everything that I say, nothing is ever going to be good enough. Um, so I got really, really angry. I got really, really sad. And I got to the point of almost believing that life wasn't worth living anymore. Sure. And I was like, why am I allowing this person to make me feel this way mm. after so long of being in these little communities and talking to people, sharing my experiences and people were relating to them and saying that I have experienced the exact same thing. And I was like, this isn't strange then. This isn't me. This isn't just an isolated experience. This mm. is something that people experience day by day. And it was a build up of many things. Uh, so I decided, you know, enough is enough. I'm going to go and share my experiences so other people feel less alone. And as soon as I opened up the space for that community, I was amazed at the amount of people who thanked me for coming out and speaking truth and saying things that people did not dare to say, mm -hmm. telling stories that people did not dare tell. And I was kind of ashamed at first. I was like, should I be saying this? Mm -hmm. Should I be telling these stories? But as right. soon as I had people say, thank you, thank you for telling that because now I know I'm not alone, mm -hmm. it made me realize that this is so, so important. Like more people need to know that this is common. This is, it's not normal, but it's something that a lot of people go through and there is a possibility that you can get out of it and get help and not feel alone. So that was the amen. start. Wow. 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 Thank you. Getting, you. Got an amen on that one, sister. Yeah, okay. Sister, sister. Eve, <laughs> Seriously. anything you'd like to share before we get back to a uh, real deal and, and some yeah. of the points? That was a really great question, question yeah. Crystal. Yeah, it's oh, a great I can't question. say question, Crystal. Um, I don't know. Qu question, I'll Crystal. I'll try and do right. the, the short version. I was going to say, yeah, Eve, Eve was going to go like, okay, how much time do we not <laughs> know, have? Yeah. How much time do we do not have? Okay, so yeah, before really you start, here. before Everyone's you start all day, I've got, I've got. Yeah, I was gonna say before you start, everybody, please don't think she's like thinking she's better than all of us. Eve is. She's tired. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's she, done a full and, day. and it's like, yeah, and she's got children. She's up late. Thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. Yeah. I am going to uh, go shuddy shuddy. Go right ahead. Okay, so um, similar to um, to Sarah in the sense that I found myself going back and I was that statistic that went back seven times and I went through all the promises, I tried to change me, I put up with behaviours that were just absolutely unacceptable and I just didn't understand why I kept being drawn back. In fact, one of the key changes for me is that I, I was going through this phase in our with this period of time in the in with this person where I was always googling how can I make my relationship better how can I fix this why is my partner doing that you know trying to get answers so I could adapt behaviors I could be a better communicator I could do all the things that he was demanding of me and like you said Sarah it was never enough it was never going to be enough but at the time I didn't know that and then um one day uh on the seventh try of leaving and by this point I was pregnant and quite a few things had shifted um whilst being pregnant I think it was for me it was you know God was being was giving me access to a lot more information at that point and I didn't google what can I do to fix it? I Googled, why can't I leave? Like, why can't I get away from this person who I know is treating me so badly? Mm. And that is when I stumbled across the term trauma bond. And I was just like, that is exactly what I have. That is the problem. I have mm. this trauma bond. And I absolutely like dove into all the information. And, and, you know, for me, it was a lot to do with the fact that I came from a secure family you know I was really fortunate in my childhood yeah. my parents mm -hmm. were great parents and, and they're loving and, and they gave me loads of, of love and support and I had 
a good education behind me. I was successful in my work and in everything. I was confident in everything that I did apart from this relationship, which absolutely was like, it was like I was a different person. And I really wanted to be able to, to say to people like, you are not alone. It doesn't matter. It's not about, you know, your attachment style from a childhood or, or, you know, or something that you've done. Like there's no victim blaming here. This is this, this thing that happens to even the most healthy, the most self-aware people that when somebody is manipulative and when you experience these, this kind of combination of behaviors, your body does things and your mind does things to protect you. And I want everyone to know that no judgment. And I want professionals to to know it so that when police are, are, are kind of attending these situations mm. they're able to have a better understanding and less victim blaming and more kind mm. of trauma informed support and that's where it's come from is this this desire to to get the information out there um and now I've got a campaign called Break the Bond where we educate people about trauma bonding, you know, social workers and police and, and people that have that are part of support networks for victims. Because for a lot of people, the trauma bond is the key to understanding that they are not alone and that they are not at fault to some you know because for a lot of the time there's so much self-blame happening mm -hmm. um and and that's I just wanted to get it out there as much as I possibly can <laughs> so I've been talking about it ever <laughs> since I that's also so kind of found a way to, to break it as well which was an which was once I once I knew what it was then I started to work on breaking it I couldn't find an awful lot of resource or a lot of instruction on how to break it and so I started to kind of try everything and, and in the end I developed a, a technique that uh, really works so so I've been really kind of blessed in that and, and been able to to help others which is which is so so amazing thank you I'm so glad because just even myself over the past couple of years and doing the googling myself I can tell you it's people like you guys and everyone else spreading the good word is why we can help ourselves when we get online if we don't you know know anyone else yet before we start opening up and talking about it so I thank you both ladies for being willing to share. Hey, uh, uh, I'm glad that I'm glad that uh, both of them felt comfortable enough to open up and they didn't have a crazy person joining the show. They had somebody normal like you. Normal, right. What, is, what does that mean? Can you guys explain what that means to me? Uh, um, I appreciate that as well. Just write the word normal backwards. That's who you are. That's okay. Who, that's who you are, right. Okay, uh, Eve, you brought up a...